हेलो स्टूडेंट सो आई नाई सी टी इज जस्ट राउंड द कॉर्नर दिस इज द लास्ट लेग ऑफ यूर प्रिपरेशन फॉर यूर अपकमिंग आई नाई सी टी द एग्जाम इज ऑन फिफ्थ नवम्बर टूडे इज नाइन्थ अक्टूबर एंड सो यू हैव अराउंड ट्वेंटी फाइव डेज टू यू नो अ मंथ और शो फॉर योर प्रिपरेशन एंड दिस इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट टाइम वेन यू शूड रीड योर हाई यील्ड मटीरियल दैट हैज द मोस्ट प्रोबिलिटी ऑफ कमिंग इन द एग्जाम सो कीपिंग दैट इन माइंड एलन नेक्स्ट हैज स्टार्टेड विद द न्यू सीरीज Uh, called as rapid recap series in which we'll be discussing all the high yield topic of all 19 subjects spread over 19 days and so your high yield topics which have high probability of coming iict will be covered in these sessions now these sessions will be absolutely free for all and it will be in the form of youtube live sessions daily at 7 pm indian standard time okay so like if you are taking a break in your study schedule so you can log in at 7 pm it will be a live session whatever doubts you have you can put it on the comment section and it will be answered now i have designed it in such a way that the high yield topics which are asked in iict so some image based questions in radiology orthopedics dermatology graphs in physiology formula based questions in general pharma and biostats these are the main topics uh, which will be covered in these sessions so it is a youtube live session every day at 7 pm and we'll try to focus on previous year topics now uh, previous year topics is something that iict is obsessed with okay so if you look at the past 5 years questions you would see that okay the same questions are not repeating per se but in a broader topic they'll ask in depth questions thoda ghuma ghuma ke some twisting here and there to ask the same topics again and again and again so you should be a master of your previous year topics and that is what our aim is through this rapid recap series now there are some i9 specific topics which are not so commonly asked in neat pg or fmg okay for example trauma is a favorite topic in surgery uh, of i9 ct burns is again one very favorite topic of i9 ct general surgery is very favorite among i9 ct papers okay so in pathology for example molecular genetics molecular biology like various uh, diagnostic techniques fish microarray exon sequencing whole genome sequencing okay next generation sequencing these are i9 specific topics so we'll try to cover these in detail so that your complex topics also get covered in a very simplified manner now these will not be a very big session so you have tried to keep them uh, between 1 to 2 hours so on an average one and half hour session Uh, will complete the important topic for each session and they will be available in the form of recordings on youtube as well so whenever like you are free you are having food you are uh, commuting from your hostel to the library or let's say just before going to bed you can just watch it in 2x or 1.5x so that the important topics get covered earlier what we used to do that we used to have some live sessions spanning 3 4 hours covering the entire subject but that beats the purpose because these last uh, 30 days student does not have so much time so i have to dedicate to a particular channel so what we have done we have concised it into a series covering all the 19 subjects uh, important topics now this will also cover some image based questions so like radiology asks a lot of image based questions so we'll do sessions like 50 images in 60 minutes okay so this will be a very high yield a session for you a lot of images will also be discussed from uh, each subject now who should attend so definitely if you are an i9 aspirant you are specifically preparing for i9 ct this session will be a big boost for you because i9 specific topics per se will be covered but also if you are someone who is preparing for neat pg targeting mainly the neat pg which is most likely to happen in march then there are obviously some overlap between i9 ct and neat pg that is starting to happen since the last 2 3 years so for you as well these topics will come in handy even if you don't want to let's say watch it right now these will be available to you for later watching at a later time now take it as a source of passive learning so whatever content you are reading whatever notes you have in these last one month jo ki aapne plan banaya ki main ye padunga usi ko padho we are not saying that take this as your main content just make it as a source of passive learning so that during your free time Uh, you can uh, revise some important topics and as i said this will be available uh, as a recorded lecture after live sessions as well so this is the brief 
uh, overview of uh, how we have designed the series. So we are starting with Dermatology by Dr. Manish Soni and the series has already started on 8th October. So the one lecture of Dermatology is already over. And then we, we have followed it with Obs and Gynae, Physiology, Biochemistry and then after major subjects, some small subjects in between minor subjects like Anesthesia, then again a major subject like Pediatrics, then again a minor subject of psychiatry. So we have balanced it out kind of major minor subjects so that all the big big uh, subjects are not covered simultaneously. There should be a mix and match. Now this is followed on 15th October by orthopedics, pharmacology and I'll be taking your uh, rapid recall series of radiology on 17th October. Okay, so I'll cover again 50 images, most important 50 images in radiology in one hour. So it will also be a quick revision for you guys. Now, this will be followed by microbiology on 18th October, ophthalmology by Dr. Shashwatre on 19th October. Attend this, this will be a very high yield session. Forensic medicine, a very important subject for INICT specifically. So, do attend forensic medicine definitely on 20th October. And finally, medicine, since we've tried to keep medicine towards the end so that the uh, first and second year subjects get over in the beginning. And finally, in the last five days, we have tried to cover PSM, anatomy, surgery, ENT and pathology. So this is the broad overview of uh, our rapid recap series. You can take screenshots uh, by pausing the video in between. But obviously, these will be available to you on our YouTube channel, Telegram channel and Instagram page. Now, after these sessions, we've tried to keep these brain bites we will put it in our telegram groups, we will put it on our Instagram page as well, so that these high yield topics, for example, in anatomy, will most likely get a question on pharyngeal arches. It is one of the favorite topics of INICT. So we have tried to make these small brain bites for quick revision. You can take uh, screenshots of these, save it in your revision folder for the last one day before the exam, or like you can read it on the go while you are traveling or commuting or having food. Now, uh, what I've done is that the time schedule that I've asked, uh, I've made a sort of timetable for you. So we know that the exam will be in the morning. So your morning hours need to be the most productive. That is where you should be uh, at your maximum efficiency. So from starting at 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. I've kept these three hours that these should be a continuous studying schedule. Okay. Then at 1 to 2 p.m. like you can take a break since it was a three hour long session your brain would be tired. You can take a break in between and then another 1.5 hour session till 3.30 p.m. You need to have then half an hour break till 4 and then 5 to 6.30 from 5 to 6.30 you can have another study session. And if you want to follow our schedule of rapid recap, we have kept it at 7 p.m. because like after taking half an hour break, you can like rapidly go through the most important high yield subjects and we'll try to finish it maximum by 8.30. And you know, you know, again in the night, you can plan whatever you are reading, whatever your main content course for this last 30 days is, you can go on with it. Now, we haven't kept any subject wise test or any MCQ test for this session because we don't want to burden you with a lot of uh, content. So, uh, I'm just saying that uh, one grand test we have planned on 15th October. Okay, this will be a grand test on live uh, for all on 15th October in the form of a CBOT. So, this is a computer based offline test. Okay, so, we have around uh, 100 centers in 70 cities all across India. And if you are uh, someone who wants to have a real exam feel, how to go on a center, attempt those 200 questions. So we have kept one CBOT on 15th November, which is on the format of INICT again. So all of you who are interested in this, you can register for the CBOT. And we provide these beautiful booklets along with each CBOT physical handout booklets and having explanations of each and every options within. And these, uh, again, quick recap series, quick uh, recap tables with each set of questions so that your broader uh, topic of that question gets covered. So for example, we have tables of glycogen storage diseases in those CBOTs and then questions regarding aphasia gets asked in medicine. So we have tried to incorporate all the important topics and explain them in detail through our CBOTs as well. So this was all about a rapid recap series that we are starting on our YouTube channel. This series is absolutely free for all of you. If you uh, want a revision of high yield, INICT specific topics, you can definitely check this out. 
that's all from my side thank you